Good morning, everyone. Um, I am very pleased to welcome back to the State Department uh, Foreign Minister Rasool. I want to commend the United Nations Security Council for its strong statement on Syria this morning in support of the six-point plan put forward by uh, the UN and Arab League Joint Special Envoy Kofi Annan. This is a positive step. The Council has now spoken with one voice. And thank you for the warm welcome and generous hospitality that you have extended to myself and my delegation. We call on all Syrians who love their country and respect its history uh, and understand the tremendous potential uh, that working together uh, provides for the kind of peaceful and prosperous future in freedom and democracy that Syrians deserve. And if I could just, you mentioned the um, security agreement. To President Assad and his regime, uh, we say, uh, along with the rest of the international community, take this path, uh, commit to it, or face increasing pressure uh, and isolation. During this important visit, it's always a pleasure. We are committed to supporting Afghan reconciliation. Our only goal is to open the door for Afghans to sit down with other Afghans and to work out the future for their country. The shooting, uh, is that still, is that, do you share that opinion, is that? So the Taliban have their own choice to make, but let there be no doubt that the United States is prepared to work with all Afghans who are committed to an inclusive reconciliation process that leads toward lasting security. Thank you, sir. Thank, Thank you, you very much. We'll take one question from each side today. We'll start with Jill Doherty of CNN. 